New at 4, an Occipaho County inmate is still on the run after escaping from the jail last night. Sheriff Steve Glatney says the man is considered dangerous. WTVS Chris Knowles is live in Occipaho County with the latest on the search. Yeah, I'm here right now outside of the Octibaha County Jail where deputies and people here are looking for this man that escaped last night. Well, the thing I know most of you are wondering is how did this happen? So I'm going to show you what uh, Sheriff Gladney told me. So across the street here, this is where the inmate was at at the old jail. Sheriff Gladney tells me that the guy jumped on an air conditioner. You can see down there, there's some air conditioners. He jumped on the air conditioner. That took him to the roof. That's how he got to the roof. And then he got on a fence. That's how he was able to jump this fence. And once he got off of the fence, over the fence, he was able to then go down 182, Highway 182. He went down 182 and that's where he was last seen. Now, right now, they're trying to figure out where he is at. Now, this is his picture. He is William Strom of Memphis. Sheriff Gladney says Strom was a trustee. He worked as a part of the kitchen crew. Sheriff Gladney says he has family in Memphis and believes he's trying to get there. Right now, the U.S. Marshals Task Force is helping with this search. He's been here about five months. Hadn't caused any problem. Worked every day in the kitchen. And uh, so we didn't have any reason to think that, you know, he was flight risk, but at some point in time, he decided that uh, he needed to go, and he left last night. Gladney says the Starfield Police Department and the Winston Sheriff's Office helped in searching the area last night. Now, Sheriff Gladney told me that the thing that shocked him the most was that this guy was serving a one-year sentence for a burglary charge that happened over 20 years ago in 2001. He was finally... Uh, he finally came in and the judge sentenced him to a year in a county jail. Here's the thing. The guy had served five months, five to six months, Sheriff says. That means he only had five more months to go or so, and he would have been out. Well, now, Sheriff said he faces possibly five years or more of some major charges behind escaping. I'm Chris Nalls, live here in uh, Tippecanoe County, WTVA 9 News.